And today I'm looking at transport and the different ways you can travel around. Oh, look, there's a boat. I love boats, do you? I like the way they glide about on top of the water. But do you know how a boat moves? How does it work? Let's find out. How does it work? A boat. Come on, we're going for a boat ride. Let's go! <laughs> and we're off! If you look around, you can see there are lots of different parts to a boat. That's the front, the pointy bit, and it's called the bow. And this is the back, it's called the stern. And then that is the engine. And in the middle, we have places to sit and put our things. At the bow, there is something called an anchor. Peter is lowering the anchor into the water down to the bottom of the lake where it will hook into the ground and hold the boat in one place. But there are lots of parts of the boat you can't see. Do you know why that is? <laughs> it's because they're in the water. I know. Let's use my special camera and this underwater light to see if we can get a closer look. Now you can see underneath the boat, and this is what makes it move. This is called a propeller. Here's a little toy boat. You might have one just like it to play with in the bath. And this one has propellers too. Can you see? The propeller looks a bit like a fan that goes round and round and cools you down, doesn't it? But on a real boat, the propeller is powered by an engine, and that's what makes the boat move. The engine and propeller are attached to each other. Petrol goes in the boat engine. And when it starts, it makes a big brum brum noise. Inside, the petrol starts to burn, and as it does, it creates a powerful gas. The gas pushes a long pole called a piston backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. As the piston moves, it turns a cog at the bottom, and this cog turns another cog attached to the propeller outside the boat. As the propeller spins round and round, it pushes the boat out the water. Let's go! blade spinning around, pushing the water away behind it and sending the boat forwards. To take a closer look at the propeller, we are using something called a winch to pull the boat in. <laughs> I'm just helping pulling the boat in. And doesn't the winch sound great? Clickety-click. <laughs> the propeller has three blades. One, two, 
three. And it's these three blades that help push the boat through the water. Being on a boat is such great fun. But if you were on a boat, where would you like to go? Can you remember the name of the front of the boat? It's the pointy bit and it's called the bow. Did you hear the winch as it pulls the boat out of the water? It went clickety-click. And did you see the propeller spinning round and round? So next time you see a boat, you'll know just how it works. But there are lots of other ways to travel too. On the water, on the ground, in the sky. What things travel up in the sky? There are aeroplanes, helicopters, and my personal favorite, the hot air balloon. This is just a toy hot air balloon. The real thing is much bigger. But do you know how a hot air balloon is made? Let's find out. How is it made? A hot air balloon. Hot air balloons are really big. They have a basket for people to ride in and a huge balloon which lifts the basket high into the sky. And this is where they're made. Yes, this is a hot air balloon factory. And that is a lot of material. The material is called nylon and it arrives in the factory in big rolls. So how does all this become a balloon? First, the material needs to be cut into smaller pieces with a small round cutter. Here it is. It fits inside the machine, just here. Let's see it cut the material into smaller pieces using my special camera. With my special camera in place, it's time to turn the machine on. The cutter is programmed by a computer to cut the strips into the right size. It moves along really fast. It doesn't look like it's doing anything. But believe it or not, that is cutting the material into smaller pieces. It takes lots and lots of these strips of nylon to make a hot air balloon. But how are they joined together? That happens here, in the sewing room. The sewing machine joins up the edges with thread using a special stitch so the material won't tear. Listen to that sound. It's a bit like a jigsaw. All the pieces have to be sewn together in the right order so that you end up with a perfect looking balloon. Whilst the balloon is being sewn together, in a of the factory, the team are working on the basket. The basket is made from willow, which is a type of tree that is light and bends into shapes easily. Look how the wood has been woven. It's like a bigger version of a basket you might have at home. Like a bin. Or a fruit basket. Have you got a basket at home? But this basket is going to carry something much heavier than fruit. It's amazing to think that this will soon carry people high, high up into the sky. Back upstairs, one of the balloons is ready. But do you know how much material goes into making just one balloon? <laughs> wow, look how much material there is. It's like the biggest superhero cape ever. But to see just how much material there really is, let's fill it with air. Wow, it's enormous. It's so big it won't even fit inside this room. Be 
big moment. Let's go inside. Oh, that is amazing. Let's go on and explore around the balloon with my special camera. <gasps> Look just how huge this balloon is. You can see how all of the pieces of material have been stitched together. There's actually a thousand meters of material here. If you stretched all of that out, it would be the same as 80 big buses in a row. So we have the balloon and we've got the basket. Now we just need to see it fly. The team are getting a hot air balloon ready to fly. First, they have to unpack all the material and lay it out flat. I'm so excited to see all of this flat material inflate. going to inflate the material with air using a fan so that it blows up. It's a bit like a party balloon. <sighs> Only a lot bigger. Where'd it go? Wow, this hot air balloon is enormous. This is the gas burner. It makes the air inside the balloon hot which lifts it off the ground <laughs> and makes it fly. Look at that, a giant white balloon. What do you think it looks like? I think it looks a bit like a huge egg. Just look at this hot air balloon. Isn't it incredible how a flat piece of material can turn into this? I loved seeing how a hot air balloon was made. What was your favourite bit? Do you remember the name for the part of the hot air balloon that carries people? That's right, it's the basket. Did you like the sound of the sewing machine when it sewed all the material together? And did you see how big the balloon was when it filled up with hot air? It was huge. So now we know how a hot air balloon is made with lots of material, lots of sewing and this bendy wood that's used to make the basket. And now we know how a boat works using a propeller under the water to push the water away. Right, there's only one thing left to do, fly. Fly.